it comes to Fortress or Guardian anchors, it's their superior design that gives them superior holding power, not their weight. In this video, we're going to teach you how to set your Fortress or Guardian in two common anchoring situations, deep water and at the sandbar. First, make sure you've set up your anchor road properly. A road is the combination of rope and chain that connects your anchor to your boat. You'll want about 200 to 300 feet of line and about 12 to 15 feet of chain. You'll also need a shackle to attach the chain to your anchor. You can find sizing recommendations for both line and chain in the About section at FortressAnchors.com. Having enough line is important because you'll need to let out a minimum of 5 to 1 scope to get your Fortress or Guardian to set. Scope simply means the number of feet of line per foot of depth of water. 5 to 1 scope is only a minimum, and in many cases, you may want closer to 7 to 1 or 10 to 1 scope. Okay, let's talk about deep water anchoring. The first thing you want to make sure of is that you're in a proper anchorage. No matter what type or brand of anchor you have, you should never attempt to set it on a reef. Doing so destroys the local habitat, and there's a good chance you're going to lose your anchor doing so. Setting in the sand or mud is better for you, your anchor, and the ocean. Search for lighter spots in the ocean floor, or you can check your charts to find areas labeled as anchorages. When trying to find a spot, you'll want to be mindful of swing. If your anchor road is too long and you're too close to other boats or pilings, you could end up swinging into them. So be sure that you're as far away from other objects on all sides as your anchor road is long. Next, be sure that your fortress anchor is set for the proper angle for the type of bottom you're anchoring in. In most cases, you'll be dealing with sand or a mixture of sand and mud. For these situations, the 32 degree angle is sufficient. Only set your fortress anchor to 45 degrees if you're anchoring in very soft mud or silt. Once you have your anchor set properly and your line ready, head your boat into the current or wind direction. Cast your anchor into the water, letting enough line out to achieve the minimum scope. When the anchor hits bottom, let the wind or current drift your boat back enough for the anchor to catch. When you feel the anchor catch, slowly reverse your boat for a few feet with your engine to get your anchor to set even deeper. Ensure your anchor is secured to your boat and enjoy yourself until it's time to leave. When pulling your anchor, it can be helpful to have an assistant during this process. One person should be at the helm and the other at the windlass or pulling manually. Move forward over the anchor until the road is in a vertical position. The assistant should give hand signals to the captain for the direction they need to go to stay over the anchor. When the line is vertical and you're directly over the anchor, begin pulling up on the line to break the anchor free from the sea bottom. Once the anchor breaks free, pull the anchor up in a controlled manner to ensure that it doesn't smack into the hull once it's out of the water. From there, just wind up your line and stow the anchor. Another common anchoring situation is at the sandbar. You'll need two anchors, one for the bow and one on the stern to do this just right. Come into the sandbar in reverse so that your transom is facing the shore and let your bow anchor out with a proper scope. Reverse on it to dig the anchor in, making sure you have plenty of water underneath you at the stern. Be sure to leave enough depth to account for low tide as well. Now you or an assistant can hop off the back and walk out the stern anchor. The stern anchor should have a line attached to a back cleat. Once you've walked the stern anchor out far enough, you can dig it in by hand. Now you can relax and enjoy your day in the sun with your friends and family, knowing that your fortress anchors are holding your boat safely and securely. We hope you've enjoyed this video about anchoring and we hope you've learned a lot. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to pay us a visit at fortressanchors.com or give us a call. Be safe out there and have fun from all of us at Fortress Anchors.